Hello Foratress Fantasize About Us, Andy and Commentator here with another episode, which is actually number 47 of Pokemon Stadium 2, rental only of course playthrough. Uh, in this episode we're going to take on the Fuchsia Gym, we're going to go to Kit Koga's butt, uh, Kit Koga's daughter's butt even. Uh, so we're going to do a bit of uh, child abuse, which is probably not something that I should promote. Uh, now actually, interestingly, according to the guide that I'm using, the next gym is uh, Sabrina, the Saffron Gym. But according to the game, it's the uh, Fuchsia Gym. So we're going to listen to the game because the guide's... The guide? Um, yeah, so we're going to go in and she's going to try and get retribution for her father, <coughs> who we... Um, who we destroyed at the uh, Elite Four, of course. Uh, right, so we're going to pick uh, one of the Pokemon that we picked in the last episode, which is Houndour. Not Wobbuffet, so no Wobbuffet this time. But we do have Kadabra back, and I think it's a debut for one of my favourite Pokemon, which is Lapras. Really like Lapras, uh, particularly on the uh, Red and Blue Game Boy games. I think it's great. That's the team, so we just need to make up the numbers now with um, a few more Pokemon... Beginning with L, that are far inferior. And last but not least, the berries. Oh no. The bitter berry is never a berry you want to give out. Okay. Right, let's go. Yeah, a bit of a. Um, yeah, this this is actually my least favourite um, Kanto gym. Uh, there's a lot of status nonsense going on here. Um, poisoning, confusing, bat and passing. Double teaming. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, let's have a look at the team. So, if you watched the last episode, you don't need me to introduce Houndour. Uh, Kadabra's back after a, a little bit of time off. Uh, so, high special attack with Psychic is always good. We can use Reflect as well if we need it. Uh, Lapras, I think, is making its debut for us. Uh, Whirlpool traps things. Icy Wind lowers speed. Uh, Perish Song we're probably going to use. We'll get to that in the uh, game. Uh, Mist, I can't remember what it does. Something to do with removing stats. In, I, I don't know what Mist does. Um, I probably should do, though. Anyway, so the team for this one, uh, we've got, so we're going to start with Lapras. Uh, we're going to move on to Kadabra. And I'm going to finish with Houndour. It's not that it really matters, the uh, second two. So Houndour, super effective against Meganium. Uh, Girafferig as well. And Foratress. In fact, it's quite effective against Foratress. Kadabra, super effective against Crobat and Muk. Can also Thunder Punch. So maybe useful against Vaporeon. Lapras. I think Lapras is here to get rid of the start. I'm expecting it to be Girafferig. I think Crobat's the one she always picks. I don't know what I'm I really can't remember much about this gym. I just know it's... I just know it's like poison, confusing, double teaming, all that stuff I said earlier. Which is why it's my least favourite. Right, okay, Lapras, let's go. I'm expecting a... Um, a double team of bat and pass start, which probably means giraffe rig. So let's see. Yeah, there's a giraffe rig. Just below Stantler on the list of Pokemon I love. From this game, at least, anyway. Right, so we're going to go straight for. Let's have a look what Mist does. Provides full protection against an enemy status attack. Oh, right, okay. So that means. That, oh, so it's a bit like Safeguard, then, isn't it? Go to that. Uh, right, okay, so. Uh, got 70% accurate. Right, what we're going to do here is a Malevolent Melody. I've never, I've never read that before. That's brilliant. Okay, um, Malevolent You're Melody. That sounds like something I'd say. Alliterative nonsense. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, I love the poison moving in the background, by the way. Which I think I've only said on round one. Right, so we're going to go for Perish Song here. Because we're going to try and not... We're going to try and do something. So let's go for Perish Song. So we'll go for double... Yeah, there's a double team. So this thing's a bat and passer. So what it's going to do is... Pad its stats and then bat and pass out. So if we can perish song, we can stop that happening. Right, so both Pokemon faint in three turns. So all we need to do now is on the turn we're gonna faint, switch. And as long as she doesn't switch, we're okay. So it's kinda of trying to it's kinda of forcing a switch so we don't have to put up with the uh, double team nonsense. I'm gonna go for Whirlpool. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Whirlpool. Combat and space each other. it's 70% accurate, and this is two evasion boosts. Let's go for Whirlpool. Just to stop it. If we get this Whirlpool and it can't switch, and then we can go for Icy Wind to lower speed, just to be absolutely sure. Oh, I'm surprised that hit, but we'll take it. I'm not sure what happens here if it baton passes. I don't think baton passing counts as a switch. 
I don't know also if you're in a whirlpool if that stops a baton pass. Right, Perish Sun County is at two. So the white hot battle continues. I'm gonna stay in for one more turn, I think. Actually you no know, I'm not. I don't know if I switch if the whirlpool disappears, that's the pro I'll stay in for one more turn. And then I'm gonna switch to Hound now, because I've got a feeling on the last turn it's gonna attack. It may even attack this turn. If it does, then I'll switch. I'm double team again, surprised about that. I think, it, I think if it knows it's gonna die, it'll attack me. So hopefully it'll use Psychic. Because if I switch to Hound now, then it won't do anything. Unless he wins, I'll probably miss. Wow, after all these evasion drops, we haven't missed a move yet. And then neither of them are 100% accurate. Right, we've lowered speed, so if it does bat and pass. Right, the Persian goes at one, so next turn we'll both get knocked out. So I'm going to switch to stop myself getting knocked out. And hopefully Giraffe Rig will get knocked out. I think that works. Let's go for Hound Hour. Hopefully it'll go for something. <laughs> hopefully it'll go for Psychic because they won't do any damage. And we've knocked it out, and it's three against two. Oh, it's Hound Hour. It is Double team again, didn't bother attacking for some reason. It's still padding its stat. Oh, it's now knocked out. There you go. So no baton pass for you. I feel like this is a tactic I could have used more often on this playthrough. But um a bit late for that now, isn't it really? Right, okay, so three against two now. We can use that trick again if we need it. Potentially. There's the crowbar I was expecting that. What are you gonna do? Number of remaining Pokemon um, is This battle's out Go to Kidabra, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping it goes for mean look. This Pokemon is switching up. That's the hope. Yeah, with the Perish Song it kind of eliminates the oh, baton passing Kedabra. double team nonsense. I don't think Perish Song can miss. I think it's just a thing that happens. Thank you, that's what I was hoping for. Mean look. Ah, that you can't, can't escape. Now. Does it matter? Because we're going to knock you out, hopefully Pokemon in one turn. So, so let's go for Psychic. Don't think we need to bother with Reflect. Yeah, we get outsped, you see. If, we, if, we, if, if, we were, if I was quicker, I'd have gone for Reflect. Yep. It's become confused. Anyone anyway, think I knew it was coming here? There we go. Now, hopefully this knocks it out. I don't think it... Surely it must do with, with my special attack and Psychic in a strong move. Wow, not even close. <laughs> not even close. I didn't think it would. Um, okay. Which means we're going to get through confusion again. Um, we can't escape either. As Kenny Omega told us. So... We just have to hope that we don't hurt ourselves all the time. Okay. Toxic? No, oh, sorry, confuser again, yep, of course. Which won't miss unlike the sleep moves in the last episode. Give a spoiler there if you haven't watched that. The Celadon Gym. Come on. Yep, there we go. Another spoiler as well. Uh Belossum didn't do that in the last episode. Which was even more annoying. Oh, we just need to get one away. Just just we'll, we only need one. No oh god. Here comes a flinch. Oh, it's flinch. Yep. There you go. That's why we needed to get that away. The white okay, see you, Kadabra. Hope the last Pokemon isn't muck. Right. Okay, so now Kadabra's gone. Um, what do we go for now? Do we go for Hound Hour or do we go for Lapras? I'm tempted to go for Pokemon. Lapras. Because Icy Wind I think is super effective. And I, oh, will it do 52 damage though? That's the problem. Let's go Lapras. They're ready to go. Let's go Lapras. Hopefully the first moves mean luck. It's a waste of a turn. Or Toxic. I'd even take Toxic to be honest with you. Just not, just not confuse Ray. If it's confused, Ray, we're switching. Okay, um, so let's go for Icy Wind. Because it's super effective and will lower speed. Oh, say... Don't start with this. 
This is why it's my least favourite gym. Please attack. Thank you. Now please hit. That's the next thing that needs to happen. There we go. Wow, I'm surprised about that actually. Okay, so now if we perish, Song. We should win this. And it is. I am the Gainium! <laughs> anyway, uh, right, move on. Uh, okay, you know what, I may switch you actually. What are you going to do? I think you're going to go for the tract. So, the Hound Hour is male. I'm going to switch. Yeah, I'm switching. It's good. If I wasn't confused, I'd have stayed in and gone for Perish Song. But I'm going to switch. Maybe should have stayed in it, so I think that was a mistake. We've got the perish song. Yeah, I think that was probably a mistake. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's go. Come on, Hound Hour. Thank you, that's what I was hoping for. Which is the reason why I switched. So I had to break through at Blake, I'd have had to break through Confu Confusion. Attract Fusion. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, okay, so we're gonna go for uh go straight for flamethrower. Yeah, screw it. We're going for sunny day, but let's just go straight, for go. Go. let's go straight for damage. There we go. That's fine. We'll take that. We'll definitely take. Well, I'll well, stop your hand off for that. So we'll go for it again. So I think we're home and hosed here. There we go. Yep, my game is a bit of a tank, to be honest with you. Uh, okay. Um, you know what, Sludge Bomb? You were poison. Oh, okay. Not going for poison. What's point. Well, that's even more annoying now. No. Wow, that did nothing. That did way less than I thought it would. Even on a critical hit. There we go. Not as effective as Flamethrower, obviously. But let's finish it off with What's Meganian's held item? Quick Claw, apparently. I don't think it's using it here, though. I think it outspeeds me anyway. It would have out, it would have used it. It would have had to use it to outspeed the Kadabra. Right, so we're gonna beat the poison trainer with a poison move. We're gonna knock out the Meganium. David Guetta's gonna cry into his cornflakes at my singing. Uh, and we're gonna move on to the next episode very shortly. You just need to give out the MVP award. Difficult one that one, because I think everybody contributed. Lapis did its job with the giraffe rig. Pound did its job at the end. Uh, Kadabra kind of did its job. I'm going to give it Lapras because it knocked out... did its job with the giraffe rig and knocked out Crobat. Um, with the uh, Icy... Broke, broke through Confusion and hit Icy when it knocked it out. So we're going to give it to Lapras. Um, but... Yeah, well done Hound as well there. So Lapras, uh, on its debut, gets the MVP award. So that's always exciting. So now we're going to um, go back according to the guide and face Sabrina. Which we're going to do in the next episode. So, nice quick episode. We're flying through this Kanto gym. We're going to be nearly done with the whole series soon. Uh, we'll do the rival at the end. But we'll talk about that when we get to it. But for now, it is, of course, Sayonara.